kindergartners, it's Miss Vaughn here to do some more math with you today. Today we're going to practice um, counting number three, which is a skill on our map to first grade. Counting number three is about writing our numerals. In kindergarten we want to be experts at writing numbers up to 20. Um, so today we're going to practice writing some numerals. If you have a, something to write with and something to write on, that would be useful for this video. If you don't have that close, that's totally fine. You could do some sky writing with your um, finger marker. All right, so we are gonna practice writing our numbers with some guess my number. So I'm gonna give you a clue and um, you're gonna write down the number that you think it is. And then we're gonna check our work together. So for example, I might say something like, this is the number that's the same as two and two. So then you're gonna write the number that you think is the same as two and two. Great, that number is what, everybody? Yeah, four, we know that four is the same as two and two. I could check two and two, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, two and two is the same as four. Excellent, all right, let's do a couple more. This is the number that's the same as five and two. So take a second, figure out that number, and when you know, write it down. Or if you're writing, if you're skywriting, write that number in the air. Great, that number is what? That number is seven. Seven is the same as five and two. All right, the next one is, this is the number that's the same as five and five. Take a second, figure out what that number is, write it down, or skywrite. Everybody, what number is that? 10, five and five is the same as 10, and 10 is a one and a zero, 10. All right, the next number is the number that is one more than 10. One more than 10. All right, once you know, go ahead and write that number down or sky write it. Everybody, the number that is one more than 10 is 11. And that number is written like this. A one and a one is the same as 11. All right, the next number is the number that is one more than 13. One more than 13. All right, once you know, go ahead and write that number down. Great, everybody, that number is? 14, and 14 is a one and a four. Sometimes we say a one and a four say 14. Say that with me. A one and a four say 14, excellent. All right, the next one is the number that is one less than 20. It's one number less than 20. When you know, go ahead and write that number down. Everybody, what is that number? It's 19, 19, and 19 is a one and a nine. So we say a one and a nine, say 19. Say that with me. A one and a nine, say 19. Excellent. All right, the next clue is, this is the number that is one less than 18. One less than 18. Once you know, go ahead and write that down. Everybody, that number is? 17, yeah, 17 is a one and a seven. So we can say a one and a seven, say 17. Excellent, 17. All right, your next clue is, this number is one more than 11. One more than 11. When you know what that number is, go ahead and write it down. Everybody, that number is 12. 12 is one more than 11. A one and a two say 12. Say that with me. A one and a two say 12. Great. All right, the next one is the number that is one more than 14. When you know what number that is, write it down. One more than 14. Everybody, what is that number? 15, yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One more than 14 is 15. 15 is a one and a five. We would say one and a five says 15. You can say that with me. A one and a five say 15, excellent. The next clue is the number after 15. 
15. What's the number after 15? The number that is one more than 15. When you know, go ahead and write it down. Everybody, what is that number? 16. 16 is one more than 15. And a 16 is a one and a six. One and six say 16. You can say that with me. One and six say 16. All right, this is the last clue. This number is the number that has a zero in the ones place. So there's a mystery number right here. And I'm gonna give you two more clues. This number is not 10, it's greater than 10. And this number is not 30, it's less than 30. What number has a zero, is less than 10 and, no, more than 10 and less than 30? When you know, go ahead and write it down. Everybody, that number is 20. A two and a zero say 20. And I know that's more than 10 because when I count by tens, I get to 20 after 10, but I also get to it before 30. Let's check, let's count by tens. Ready, set, count. 10, 20, 30. Okay, 10, 20 is more than 10 and less than 30. And we know it has a zero because you can count by tens to get to 20. Great, thank you for practicing writing your numerals with me today. I can't wait to do math with you again soon.